Welcome back to Stormworks. Well, it's about. So the other day, I talked about the infinite torque glitch, and I decided to push it. So I made this boat, which is called the Ghost. Why is it called the Ghost? Well, if you listen carefully, you'll hear the engines running. Oh, no, you won't. There are no engines. <laughs> this boat runs forever. It doesn't have any diesel. No jets. It's got a battery in it, but it's not a very big one. It does have a motor. A tiny little electric motor. The sort of thing you'd normally use to run a coolant pump. It handles pretty well at 60 meters per second. It can go a little bit faster, but then the turning becomes a little unstable. Mostly because I just didn't have the patience to perfectly tweak the boat out. Uh, it's not exactly kitted out very well for operations, but it does have the basic stuff you'd need for rescue operations and electrical refueling operations, because you can recharge any number of batteries off of this bad boy. That's uh, the power of the torque glitch. I'll show you how to put it together. It's extremely simple. Um, the previous boat I created was thinking way too hard. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, rock it on back to port here, and then I will show you what's inside. Inside the ghost. Here it is. This is the interior of the ghost. It uses one medium-sized battery for power. That's this boy, bad boy here. You could probably use a small battery. Um, I just didn't want to risk blackouts or brownouts, so I used a medium battery. Over here is our only source of torque, one tiny little motor. This is the smallest motor in the game. It's an electrical motor. Uh, and obviously it does not create enough torque to do what we're making it do. We're using the infinite torque glitch to power up these small flywheels. This trio of small flywheels are the only flywheels we need to amplify uh, for this size boat. I know in the previous boat I used like a chain of 800 flywheels. I was trying to accomplish something um, using the diesel engines, and the diesel engines are kind of finicky, so I had to put in some padding. Well, guess what? Electric motors are not finicky. So all we have to do is pulse this clutch rapidly, and this will never, ever run out of power. We'll just fuel it right back up to maximum every frame, or every other frame. The way we're pulsing it is we've got this ping pong um, uh, chip, and it's literally called a ping pong chip. If you type in ping pong, there it is. And all it does is it goes from negative one to one according to a number, and I'm passing it five. You can pass it any number you'd like as long as it's not below one. That pulses this clutch, uh, which allows us to use the torque glitch. You don't spin up that torque instantly before we even can reach the boat at maximum running speed. It's long since finished spinning up these wheels. Once these wheels are spun up, we, uh, we automatically uh, pipe the, this power through this clutch into a three to one converter here, three to one, which means that uh, it's running at about 15 here and it runs at about 45 out here. Uh, and that allows us to amplify our power tremendously. And that's why we can run a, uh, a medium generator off of a small motor and uh, make back more than 10 times as much electricity as we spend. And not only that, we provide enough juice to also run two of these water jet engines, which are what give us our forward thrust. There are some other concerns with this setup. None of them are related to the torque glitch. This is the torque glitch. This is, this is what you need. Um, but back here, uh, we do have a lot of logic, and all of this logic is just to try and keep this tiny, lightweight boat stable at speeds of 60 meters per second, or 70 or 80 meters per second. They don't really work great. Um, I kind of just settled for what I could get to work. Uh, so you can tweak that part if you'd like, but the basic idea here is that there is now another way to generate infinite energy. You just use this infinite torque glitch. It's super basic. You hook up a small motor, and a clutch, and then you flutter the clutch. And anything on the other side, whatever flywheels you want, will get punched up just unimaginably fast for free. Woohoo! This boat is available if you want it on the workshop. Bye.